Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back uh, to a awesome video. Great win for Michigan today. Now, for those who don't know, Michigan was playing Iowa basketball tonight, uh, a top 10 clash, and Michigan looked really good. Really, really good. The first half was close. Uh, sorry, I apologize. My dog is coming onto my bed. That's why I just there might have been some rustling around. But yeah, this was a top 10 matchup between two of the most potent offenses in the country. Michigan coming off of its great win over Ohio State. Iowa on a on the heels of a four-game winning streak, uh, which was snapped tonight. Now, the first half, let's scroll down a little bit. The first half was really tight uh, throughout. No, neither team took much of a lead. I think the largest lead was Michigan at like five points. But went into break at only a three-point lead on a buzzer-reading tip-in by Austin Davis. I thought, I thought Michigan looked so much better in the first half. I just thought Iowa was hitting these. Lucky contested shots. Jordan Bohannon had a couple of crazy deep threes. And Michigan was getting the better look. So I wasn't that concerned by the close start. And Michigan just pulled away. Uh, after about the 15-minute mark in the second half, which was the last time Iowa got it within, like, two, Michigan just ran ran on a huge streak and ended the game up by 22 points. Kind of just, as you can see on the scoring chart, a consistent just expansion of the lead. Now let's dive into some of these box scores because Michigan had some really good box scores. And let's actually start at Iowa. The most important player on the court, almost in every game he plays, and Luca Garza, was off from the get-go. Couldn't really make anything inside. I think more of a credit to Hunter Dickinson and Austin Davis on defense than anything else. They were just hounding him inside. Like, just great defensive play. Hunter's long arms were throwing Garza off all game and Oh, an emergency. I'm sorry. An emergency, then. Ben, do you hear me? Yes. You hear me? I need. I, I, need, to, I need to speak my mind for a second. Okay. For all the Michigan viewers listening, Michigan is not a top five team. I just need to speak this. You're gonna hear this propaganda from Ben. They are not a top five team. I need to re reiterate myself here. I'm assuming it's just Tim. Ethan, and my little brother watching, but regardless, Michigan is not better than Villanova, not better than Butler, and not better than the Zags. Peace. Have a wonderful afternoon and evening, Ben. All right. Brad hijacked me. Uh, that's tough. We also lost two viewers during Brad's little spiel there. But back to what I was talking about. Uh, and also, I'm just going to note, Michigan is a top three team. We'll get to that later, though. On the yeah. rankings. On the rankings. Okay, and in just general. But Luca Garza was thrown off throughout the game. Obviously, I just gave credit to Hunter Dickinson and Austin Davis for that. I think that they were awesome on defense. He still had 16 points, but look at the shooting number. Six for 19. That's good defense. You go down the line. Joe Weiss can't hit one crazy three, but also Michigan played great defense on him. Jordan Mohan was probably the best uh, player on Iowa's offense tonight. Uh, they were hitting. He was hitting contested shots throughout the game. Off the bench, Keegan Murray was the only one who did anything. He had seven points. And I will note, I will note, Jack Nunji, who's normally a great uh, backup big man for Iowa, went down early in the game. I, I hope he's all right. He couldn't put any pressure on his right ankle, so it's possibly an ACL issue, but I'm not going to speculate on that. Prayers for him, though, because he's a good player. Let's move to Michigan. Isaiah Livers was great. He's the best shooter since uh, Nick Stauskas, I've said. He's so consistent. He was 4 for 5 and 3, 5 for 8 from the field, 6 rebounds, 5 defensive rebounds, and he stayed out of foul trouble with 16 points. Hunter Dickinson's defense was huge this game. His offense was good too, 8 rebounds and 14 points and 2 blocks. Uh, and he, tr he did well to stay out of foul trouble. He had 2 quick fouls, and then he pretty much stayed clean the rest of the game. Best player on the field tonight, or on the court tonight, sorry. Franz Wagner, Moe's younger brother, showing off why he's a top a top pick in the NBA draft next year. Not a top pick, but a first-round guy. He was 9 for 12. He was doing everything. He hit two threes. He was making nice drives to the bucket, going Euro, going reverse, scoop and score. He was showing off a great package at the rim. 
four assists and only one turnover. He had the ball a lot, so only one turnover. That's significant. Eli Brooks has been struggling offensively, but his defense was locked down tonight, uh, guarding Joe Wieskamp a lot, guarding uh, C.J. Frederick, two capable offensive players. He did well. Mike Smith didn't have his most efficient game, but he's a great point guard. He only had two turnovers, and he held his own against a great guy in Jordan Bohannon. Off the bench, Terrence Williams got some meaningful minutes. You'll love to see that. He's a freshman. He'll be a big part of this team in the future. Brandon Johns played pretty ugly basketball for most of the game. He had one uh, kind of mid-range jumper, but the rest of the game was kind of ugly. Austin Davis is an awesome inside finisher, and he had six points and did a great job defensively in Luca Garza. I'll t- I talked about that earlier. And then Shawnee Brown was the only, the other four. These four guys or these five guys only got at the end of the game. Shawnee Brown played really well off the bench. He has high energy. Um, he hit three shots. He hit a three. He had seven points. And in my opinion, one of the best six men in the Big Ten. He rounds out our team really well. He's such a good uh, get by Juwan. Now, Gonzaga won tonight, but they didn't look good doing it, and it was against a Santa Clara team that's pretty darn weak. Six losses overall, none to great teams except for Gonzaga and BYU. And look, at a certain point, we got to get past the fact that Michigan has a loss. you got to look at the overall resume, which is just unreal. Decimating really high-quality teams like Wisconsin, Purdue. Um, I'll call Minnesota a high-quality team because Michigan did decimate them early on. And, of course, tonight, just blowing the gates off of Iowa in the second half, 47-28 to 28 in the second half. That's so impressive. I mean, that's just – I can't get over how impressive this team has been recently. Uh, on a six-game winning streak since that blemish against Minnesota – I'm excited if you can't tell. I am really excited about Michigan. Tonight only enforced what I already thought. Hey, I'm doing something. Give me a, give me a couple minutes. Sorry about that. And Tim's on here as well. What's up, Tim? All right, sorry about that. I was just had a brief chat with my mom. What's up, Tim? Uh, I assume Brad's the other viewer. Uh, and yeah. Just a great win for Michigan. Baylor also almost lost to Iowa State two nights ago. So both the top two teams are looking vulnerable. Michigan hasn't looked vulnerable. Even against Ohio State, they didn't look vulnerable. They looked so good the entire game and put it away with relative ease late in the game. If Michigan can go on and take care of business against Indiana this weekend and then beat Illinois, in my mind, they're the best team in the country. I know that's going to be controversial. We'll see how they look against Illinois, and we'll see how they look down the stretch. But what they did tonight was so impressive. I don't think any other team in the country could have done what they did tonight. Uh, Gonzaga played Iowa early in the season and won by 11. Um, Michigan just won by 22, so there's a difference there. I was talking to my friend about that. But, yeah, I'm full of joy. Michigan's doing well in basketball, just really well. I'm so glad we got you on Howard on here. I'm so glad that we have these two transfers, Mike Smith and Shawnee Brown. Hunter Dickinson's been a beast, and of course the established vets, Franz Wagner, Isaiah Livers, Eli Brooks, and Austin Davis have been clutch as well. So that's going to be all, guys. Thanks for watching. Go Blue. Best team in the country if we win the next two games on our on our schedule. And yeah, see you next time.